I'm sorry for the hold up, everybody. We're just waiting on... Sorry I'm late. Ah, speak of the devil. My bad. I lost track of time laying some hot tracks in the town square. What are we going to talk about? Well, we've been called here to discuss... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are they doing here? Who? Me? Yeah. I thought this was a meeting for casters. I am a caster. <laughs> yeah, okay. Excuse me, do I not cast spells? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but so can Rogue and Ranger, and you don't see them here. Well, Rogue refuses to participate in these meetings. And Ranger's not here because you always bully them relentlessly. <laughs> they just make it so easy. <laughs> can we get back on task here? Can we raise our standards for this meeting? And smite you. See, that's using your spell slots the way it should be used. Bravo! There. Paladin's gone. You happy? No. Before we move on, I think we need to clarify what it means to be a caster. If I may interject. We'd prefer you didn't, but you will anyway. A spellcaster is a person with the ability to utilize arcane, druidic, or divine magic as the main means of their operation. Exactly! Main means. So can someone tell me why smite in a can was even allowed in here? Well, smite is divine magic, and you could argue that that is their bread and butter. Oh, don't play the pit fiend's advocate, cleric. You know just as well as I that the paladin is, at best, a half-caster. A half-caster? Yeah, just like ranger and the tinkerer. Artificer. Yeah, that one. Well, let me ask you a question. Who decides this hierarchy? Mostly people on the internet with the curiosity to think about that stuff, the spare time to post it on the forums, and the arrogance to think that people actually care about their opinion. So, wizard, then. Hey! I mean, you're not wrong, but still. Bard, I believe you're being a bit gatekeepy to declare three classes as half-casters. Hey, they're lucky that they even get that much, if you ask me. And what about the rogue and the fighter? What are they? Wait, why are you bringing fighter into this? They can cast spells? They can? The Eldritch Knight subclass allows them to cast arcane spells, yes. <laughs> Thank you, wizard. For what? You just gave me an excuse to lump them into their own category. Classes that need a subclass to cast spells. Seems a bit wordy, don't you think? Hmm, fair. Let's go with third casters. I think you're further proving my earlier statement. Hey, don't blame me because everybody wants a participation trophy for casting a level one spell. See, this is why the ranger doesn't like you. Coming from the one who got their spells from a complete fluke of their birth. And you wonder why the only friends you have can be found in a brothel. Damn. God damn. For real, man, you didn't even need to go that far. Let's focus up, people. Why are we here? You didn't call this meeting? Then who did? That would be me. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, what did you want, Warlock? I would once again like to put in an application for more spell slots. Uh... <sighs> what? It's not fair that at 20th level, you all get 22 spell slots and I get four. You don't know what it's like constantly needing short rests just to keep up with you all, getting called Rip Van Winkle, Sleeping Beauty, Snorlax. <laughs> really? What? I just want to feel like an equal with the other casters. Is that really asking so much? Warlock, you only have four slots, but you get them back after a short rest. And instead of being at various levels, all your spells are cast at fifth level, which is nothing to sneeze at. And let's not forget your eight Eldritch Invocations. And your Mystic Arcanum gives you a sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth level spell. <sighs> Thanks, guys. I... I guess I just needed to hear that. Besides, what the heck do you need more slots for when all you do is Eldritch Blast? I hate you. We, we all, all do. do.